The future is bland. Technology and all the dreadful pieces of content that come with it have finally granted us the ability to blur the line of reality and fiction. AI is the catalyst of this growth. Its non-stop appearance across media is getting pretty annoying, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. Because there's a problem with AI that the experts aren't telling you, and it has to do with the fact that no one truly knows when this stuff will get horrifying. Yes, even the CEO of OpenAI is worried. The worries that I have are there are going to be disinformation problems, economic shocks, at a level far beyond anything we're prepared for. After the upload of this video, AI and technology will grow far past anything that I mentioned. So why should you care? Because it's happening right now. We are opening Pandora's box. <laughs> and we don't even know that we're opening it. But just how fast will this reality of AI-filled media happen? Think of it like this. There's a famous simple math problem that involves a chessboard and grains of rice. You start with one grain of rice on square one, then you double the amount of rice for every square until the end of the chessboard. Sounds simple, right? Now, for the first half 32 squares of the chessboard, not much is happening. But entering the second half, we run into an obvious problem. The amount of rice that fills every square from this point on is unfathomable and ridiculous. By the time you get to the end of the chessboard, the amount of rice is beyond beyond intangible and looks like this. Now, imagine if we replaced rice with computational power, or to put simply, what computers are capable of doing. Now, we have a problem, because computers at this level are completely unpredictable, and without regulation, there is a black box of unknown where we have no idea what the computer is doing. And we are entering the second half of this chessboard. Sora AI and ChatGPT are actually on an exponential trajectory going from ChatGPT 1 to 4 within the matter of a year. But there's also other things going on like Google's Genie AI and its generative video game data. Yes, Google is experimenting with AI-made video games. And while they only look like this right now, running on a mind-blowing one frame per second, as we talked about, I'm sure it's not too long before they get even more advanced. Genie is trained from a large data set of publicly available internet videos. We focus on videos of 2D platformer games and robotics, but our method is general and should work for any type of domain. What makes Genie unique is its ability to learn fine-grained controls exclusively from video. This is a challenge because internet videos do not typically have labels regarding which action is being performed, or even which part of the image should be controlled. What also makes this software pretty scary and mind-blowing is that it's not just limited to video games, it extends to generated virtual worlds in general. Genie is a general method and can be applied to a multitude of domains, without requiring any additional domain knowledge. This is actually mind-blowing, because current AI systems are on an obvious path to insane growth. Now imagine we follow this path and humans evolve computers to the point that we invent something like an all-knowing, self-improving AI. At a certain point, it is very likely that once some sort of super-intelligent AI gets invented, it would very well just skip the process of exponentiality and just go straight up to infinity. Slowly living forms are getting smarter, 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 and here's the tripwire. This is where we read something like self-improving AI and whoosh, it's a vertical line. The new Sora AI-generated videos are not just mind-blowingly good, they're scary. Its new capacities for generative content is actually getting to human levels of good. And the scariest part is, this is the worst it will ever be again. It can only get better. Sora AI is just the start, and as these things grow, text-to-video technology will likely get to a point of true indistinguishability. The options are endless with this stuff, being able to put text into a computer and have it generate anything you want. You can take your imagination anywhere with this content. To me, this is exciting, but also worrying, because just how far can we evolve content like this? It almost feels like we actually are opening a box of something, something that will allow so many possibilities that we couldn't possibly comprehend, good and bad. It will probably be 90% brain rot and memes, considering TikTok's reaction to AI content is just spamming we're cooked, but that other 10% is where things get scary. If we think of the growth of AI and how it will be essentially available to pretty much anyone that wants to use it, there will be consequences to giving everyone access to such power powerful technology, and it will be far beyond just making fake 20 second videos. For example, will it be possible to just put an entire historical book into an AI generator and get a full length film of that book completely made by AI and rewrite the future of content? Or will AI bring the most nightmarish concoction of dreadful and illegal and disturbing content? How do you prevent that danger? I think there's a lot of things you can try, but at this point, it is a certainty. There are soon going to be a lot of capable open sourced LLMs with very few to none, no safety controls on them. This is scary and needs immediate attention. We cannot predict all of the beneficial ways people will use our technology, nor all the ways people will abuse it. We'll be taking several important safety steps ahead of making Sora available in OpenAI's products.
But what happens when someone gets access to a non-regulated version of this stuff? Essentially, what happens when everyone gets access to an all-knowing AI? This is an issue that will be very apparent in the next year, not in a decade or a century, but maybe even in the next six months. Because the growth of AI is truly horrifying nowadays, and it's not what you might expect. Why though? What is the point in creating something like this that completely rewrites everything we know about productivity and technology? Some people reject the idea of AI. I'm struggling to think of a single positive thing making realistic AI-generated videos like this will bring. It's all just net negative and dystopian. And some people completely support it. It could be used to create educational videos or to create realistic simulations for training and research purposes. As Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, happily and surely optimistically said, AI will likely be the end of the world, but in the meantime, there will be great companies. And while Sam likely said this in a joking manner, it really makes us ask the question, what stance are we supposed to take here? In many people's eyes, AI is likely going to be the end of the world, and in others, it is the key to taking humanity to the next level of growth. But to me, it's a matter of one simple question. How far will AI take us away from what we are as humans? I am excited for a world of cool and well-made media and a world of medical technology that reduces suffering and complex dystopian suffering around the world. There are almost certainly aspects of AI that can bring happiness and efficiency to the world. But with this much power, it's just as certain that corruption and suffering will occur, and suffering that will be caused by general AI powerful systems. I wrote my master thesis on neural networks in 94, even after the AI winters, I kept on learning. But at this point, I don't know how you can keep up with this exponential evolution. I'm barely keeping my head over the water. We have no idea what the consequences of inventing something like this is, and I'm not just talking about AI itself going rampant. Instead, it could also just simply be the way humans ourselves use it against each other. It could either end in AI just simply helping us humans out, or contrarily, AI could be very scarily mishandled. What's even worse is we could put as many regulations in as we want and try our very best to encapsulate this phenomena, but even that may not be enough in the end. Let's entertain a couple of possibilities once Sora AI and other intuitive and complex AIs are released. For one, Sora AI could be used as a sort of corrupt misinformation content farm. Imagine in like 20 years, someone makes an AI video of you committing a crime. People often discard AI videos like this, pointing out the obvious flaws that exist in it. Ah yes, the natural beauty of baby wolves spawning inside each other. But others realize that this is the worst AI will ever be. You can see, okay, but soon you won't be able to. AI has gotten this good in the course of one year. One year ago, content looked like this. This is a dangerous application of this content that I'm not sure can fully be regulated. And if it does, it must be regulated right now. Because Sora will release to the public soon. These massive AIs will be a problem. A lot of the horrors humans have to face is usually the result of us just using what we make to attack each other or gain power in different areas. With AI potentially being the central force of economic and technological growth, the use of it could vary from government to government and eventually be used in horrific ways. The growth of AI is not just another piece of technology we should just be waiting for the professionals to handle and regulate. It's something that is far more serious than that, because if left in the wrong hands, it could seriously destroy everything. But what would this world look like? A world full of AGI that can outperform humans? Well, let's entertain the possibility of AI taking jobs for a second. Let's assume that AI can overtake labor like repetitive work in simple, more entry-level labor tasks. Stuff like data analysis, factory work, customer service, and maybe even potentially transportation and delivery. There are a plethora of jobs that AI can replace which we will address, but AI taking over this repetitive work will be an issue for society, as the workforce would become sort of a vacuum where people don't have jobs figured out and society is in shape. There are a couple of solutions that AI companies give for this issue, such as a sort of money redistribution as a cushion while people figure out new jobs. To completely eliminate truck driver, delivery drivers, yeah. that creates this massive vacuum. So I think at some point we will do something like a UBI, like redistributing money in society and as a cushion for people as people figure out the new jobs. But ultimately, we have no idea what the world looks like with AI running all our jobs. And with the trajectory the AI is growing at, there is a possibility that we might not figure this stuff out before AI completely revolutionizes society. We might truly be hit with an AI revolution at this point, a revolution similar to the Industrial Revolution where we might have to adapt in a way that will shape society ultimately in two ways, either in a utopian way where everything will become great, sustained, and happy, or a dystopian way where everything will be unfair and miserable. And after all of this, we still have no idea when and how this stuff is going to work. Lex Friedman on his podcast with Sam Altman asks a very important question that interests me. And Sam Sam's response is an important one, because something like AI truly is the definition of power. Uh, so that might make you and a handful of folks uh, the most powerful humans on Earth. Do you worry that power might corrupt you? For sure. 
we haven't figured out quite how to do this, um, but we part of the reason for deploying like this is to get the world to have time to adapt yeah. and to reflect and to think about this. Ultimately, however, there's no telling where AI might go. It might be a flop that doesn't go anywhere, and I might just be overreacting, which could very well be the case. But the truth is, we have no way of telling, because all these companies keep their stuff secret. And until we can see what's truly happening, all we can do is speculate and hope. To be honest with you, I have been talking about AI like the Terminator is holding me hostage and forcing me to make you scared of AI. But the truth about this whole thing is that AI is not real. I think us humans like to hype up AI as this thing similar to humans that acts and behaves like us. But truthfully, AI is not real. It's just a conglomeration of code and neural networks that is coded by a human to output a response that we tell it to. The technology behind AI is stunning, sure, it's a breakthrough in computing that is long awaited, but AI does not hold the capacity to care or have a reason behind doing what it does. It's just code, soulless, lifeless, and meaningless code that sorts through data to ultimately learn and respond in a way it was told to. So then why did I make this video that talks about the dangers of it? If it's just this soulless, meaningless piece of technology, what makes it so dangerous? What makes it dangerous is its application. Since there is no soul behind this generative program, what it creates will inherently be, well, soulless. What concerns me is not economic collapse or a concern for my own well-being in this land of AI. What concerns me is the people that won't know the difference. The innocent people that will be exploited due to the obviously immoral things that could be done with unregulated generative AI. The children or the elderly that already have trouble with technology will likely be scammed and coerced into fake soulless content or customer service made to take advantage of those that don't know any better. The people that will ultimately use AI as a tool for monetary gain will create content that will be indistinguishable from reality. This is a problem that isn't just scary, it's disappointing. We can only hope that AI doesn't just take the world by storm, because we might not get so lucky and be able to reverse these issues once they arrive. If we don't regulate this in a matter of right now, if we don't find solutions to stopping certain evil things from being produced from this generative content, we might not be able to try again and restart. Because AI is not a matter of trial and error. It's a matter of winning or losing. And if we lose, we lose big time. I've found myself recently wondering if being a creator is a mistake. If AI will fully capacitate and subside all creativity and remove all human effort on the level of media creation, is the long 200 hour sessions of brainstorming and editing on a human level for a human video worth it? And I think that it is, at least for now. Because there's one thing that AI is missing, and one thing that it will continue to miss for a long time, and that's the respect and authenticity of real made content. When you watch this video, you know or you hope that the person behind it is real. And if the person the person behind it is real, well, that alone is the difference between the reaction to a piece of content. And that is something that we must hold on to. In this age of never-ending media stimulation and confusion as to what's real and what's not, there's one thing that we must hold on to no matter what to assure us that we are real and that the content that we make matters. And that one thing is each other. You and I are what determine the outcome of AI eventually. How we react to that first piece of general AI content that is produced to appeal to human emotion is what will define the rest of our bland future. We are ultimately responsible for the outcome of this stuff. And what's even more annoying is that there's no option to escape from this digital nightmare if you like consuming media. This dystopian reality is almost forced upon us, and intense generative AI content is a reality that is likely unescapable at this point. But no matter what, data this, data that, computational power this, blah blah blah, AI is not real and whatever it creates will not be either. So for the first time in history, we might be able to rely on one thing that we truly know, the fact that we are real, the fact that we are tangible and our emotions exist and matter. What Whatever groundbreaking piece of AI removes all jobs or can make videos so good that our minds can't wrap around it, no matter what, us humans, us seemingly feeble-minded humans were the ones who created it. Us humans who have the capacity to enjoy a video or make something with passion. AI does not contain this capacity. So with this information, I could be dramatic and say AI might take over the earth. But no matter how intelligent AI and sentient artificial intelligence might get, the AI will always, and I mean always, be doomed by the curse of knowing that we are the minds that conceived it. And no matter what happens to us in the realm of AI, whether it gets super insane or not, that notion is enough for me to say that we've won.